77, 30 pounds. This is the J Flight 324B DS by Jayco here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And if at any point you like what you see and you'd like to learn a little bit more, I welcome you to visit the link down in the video description. You are one click away from seeing what we have in stock because it might be a little bit different than what you see here in this video. Kind of like a car commercial, this is just here to give you an idea. But also, we do publish pricing and we do not have extras and, and, and uh, hidden charges on top of our pricing. We have fair pricing. Only thing you may expect in addition is just mandatory state sales taxes. And I can't predict those because I don't know where you live because every state has different taxing. That being said, why would you want to purchase this trailer and from our dealership? Those are the high points I want to hit on in this video. Um, the J Flight is and has been the number one selling series of travel trailers since 2005 and counting. That uh, that's that's a pretty stellar record if you consider it's like what 12 consecutive years no one has toppled this thing. I don't know if anyone else has ever done that in the history of travel trailers ever before. And why is the question? The why is the what I want to focus on here. There's not a lot of major reasons, but it, there are a lot of small ones that all add up. The only really big, big, big feature that really jumps out at me is the double length warranty on a Jayco. They have double the industry standard warranty, and at this class and price point, I'm not really aware of anyone else that matches their warranty, and there is no one that ever exceeds Jayco's warranty in any category, because there is no such thing as a uh, anything greater than a, a true two-year warranty in this business, because there are no true three-year warranties in this business, despite what some brands want you to think. If you want to learn more about that, give us a call, because this is not about that. Little stuff. Extended diamond plate. You see how the diamond plate extends down to protect more of the chassis. You see how we have an integrated A-frame here. Why is that? You know, most RVs have uh, an A-frame that's just kind of um, tacked on to the chassis here. And there's nothing necessarily wrong with that. It does work well enough. That's why a lot of brands do it. Jayco does it better, though. There's good, and there's better. And that's what we're looking at here. There's a lot of little qualities that are better. The integrated A-frame allows them to have a lower floor. Which means, this is not taller on the outside, but it is taller on the inside. And we now have a lower center of towing gravity, because all of your tanks and everything are down a little bit lower. That's awesome. Um, the um, lighting, inside and out, were all LED. Even though this is what you would call like the starter point of the Jayco family, there's still things found in this trailer that just are not found across the industry still. There's a lot of luxury fifth wheels that don't have LED exterior lights. Isn't that amazing? Um, UV tinted uh, slide open airflow windows. I point out that because not every travel trailer, especially at this price point, has UV tint on the windows. Now I've got the lights on inside, but you can't even see the light fixture because it's got such a heavy tint to it. It gives you more privacy and it cuts down on the heat getting generated in the RV because you're blocking most of the solar radiation. Um, there, there, there's, there's a lot of little things. Keeps your furniture from fading because again, we're blocking UV rays. Um, Jayco has recently, at the time of this filming anyway, by the time you watch it, it may be later, they've gone over to Goodyear Tires, standard even on their, their simple starter family class trailers. Isn't that impressive? They've got one of the, the best names in tires out there because you've got your family who you care about, you know, in the vehicle with you, with this thing behind you. You got to make sure that this thing's going to hold on, that it's going to do its job, you know? It does that. Um, the, uh, let's get uh, around here. You can see the pretty aggressive arch on the roof. This does have five inch arched roof uh, rafters so that it, actually one of the things that we find a lot here in uh, Michigan where it can be colder, uh, a lot of our customers come to Halet RV because they're like, I want a trailer who has a roof that can handle a really heavy snowpack. And it is funny. We actually have uh, had instances where we'll have a really heavy freak snowfall and We'll send all the sales guys out with some uh, some of those foam snow brooms. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but they make brooms just for pushing snow, mostly off of things like cars, but we have a few of them here. Because every now and then, we gotta get snow off of certain trailer roofs. We don't have to do that with our Jayco's. We Guys like Jayco's because they don't have to do extra work in the winter time to do that, basically. So, this is this is the trailer that gives you the one of everything. The only offset is it does have to be pretty long. From bumper to tongue, it's going to be about 35 feet long. The box is about 32 feet, which is what you'll kind of notice in the model number. But what that gives you is a living room super slide, private front bedroom, 
a direct entry bathroom, and an, a full-size outside kitchen. You need a trailer this big to get all of those things. I like a full-size outside kitchen, personally, for a couple reasons. One, the roof can be a rain cover, because if you notice, even a tall guy like me, I can stand and walk under here perfectly comfortably. And the, uh, the awning comes to this door, but you can only sneak out the bathroom door and even on a drizzly day, get out here real quick and not really get soaked or anything. We also get the bigger refrigerator with the outside kitchen, or <clears throat> as I call it, probably heard this a lot if you're a fan of my videos, dad's medicine cabinet. It, it, just, it just means more bottles of water or soda. Um, here in the Midwest, we call it pop. Most places call it soda. You get down south too far, you start, everything's a Coke. <laughs> um, construction, cabinetry. I haven't talked enough about construction yet, I realize, as I'm doing this. Notice how even outside, we've got metal struts, so we have self-supporting doors. We have all hardwood um, door framework. We have pocket screwed cabinetry. This is screwed into that. At this price point, you get a lot of staple cabinets. Staple cabinets are okay. They're good, this is better. Remember, I also like that they left this nice and open with that power outlet right there, so that you can uh, hook up a microwave or a blender or griddles or anything. And we have a real sink. We have a real sink, not the dog dish, that does connect to your water heater. So you do have hot and cold water here. Isn't that awesome? Now, all of your drawers, again, even outside, were plywood box constructed. And notice instead of tiny knobs, we actually get real uh, handle pulls. Hardware like that adds up quickly, guys. Hardware is expensive. Um, if you, you don't care for the outside cooker, leave it down. And now it's just a little utility prep station that's extra counter space. There's never any downside to it. Um, the uh, bathroom right here, the direct entry bathroom, a lot, some folks who have never camped, they get a little spooked by this. They think that maybe this is a little weird. Like people walk in and they look at me on the toilet. Remember guys, you have a deadbolt. You can always deadbolt that door. No different than you deadbolt that door and you're probably feeling safe and secure there. But what I want to point out is that we have triple steps on both front and rear entry doors. Some trailers will start to scale down here. Our awning has improved over last year on the J-Flight SLX series. We are now on an easy tilt awning with LED lighting. They did not have the easy tilt or LED lighting last year. I think it is awesome that they upgraded that because these are two things you will use every camping trip. You're going to tilt the awning and you're going to flip on the LED lights pretty much every camping trip. Now, another convenience thing, like this is a cool convenience thing because the, the, you can send the kids inside and they can hose themselves off and get through the shower, you know, and not have to track through the whole trailer. By the way, the refrigerator and the toilet are the two primary reasons people are in and out of the trailer all the time. Now, you've just made it so that people don't have to track dirt and mud and everything through your entire camper. Isn't that cool? Here's another neat thing. You only need one key to operate this whole camper. Those doors, those doors, 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 they all operate off the same key. You don't have separate keys for separate doors and separate baggage doors. Jayco has a key alike system. Again, it's called recreational vehicles. Guys, that's something that we learned a long time ago at Haylet RV. It's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be simple. Even something like keys get annoying. Like, I don't enjoy walking around with all these different keys on my hip for all the different trailers that we carry here at Haylet RV, because man, do we carry a lot of different brands, but it is nice that on my Jayco's, I've got to reach for one key every time. It's just simple, smarter, easier. Uh, we've got um, tongue and groove plywood floor decking, 5 eighths in thickness. We've got tongue and groove plywood roof decking, 3 eighths in thickness. There, I don't know of anyone else that has though, that combination of construction features in a, uh, a very price aggressive, you call it family class camper. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, you know, 7,730 pounds, that is not too bad for a big coach like this. Um, I, I've seen, uh, you know, other versions of layouts like this uh, approaching the 9,000 pound mark. So they have the, the, you know, the construction that matters, everywhere that it matters, they still have double the warranty. You know, they haven't scaled down on their construction. I also like the fact that we have one switch lighting for the entire main cabin. Very few priced focused travel trailers have that feature. It is such an easy convenience thing. I can't even stress it enough how nice and useful it is when you go camping. Walk in, flip one switch. Now remember, the one that we have in stock might look different from this one. Specifically, the interior decor could be different from what you see here. I think this is called Smoke. It's been a little while since I looked at the color swatches, so the names are jumbling at me, but Smoke sounds and looks and feels about right. Um, 
the, uh, again, the next one we have in stock might have, like, a brown fabric sofa instead of this uh, dark chocolate um, leatherette type thing that we have going on here. Uh, this video is not necessarily the trailer that I have in stock and understand that as the product updates and evolves through the season, little changes can take place. This is not here as gospel. This is here to give you an idea. You know, we've gone out of our way here at Halo RV to educate you and uh, help you understand what this RV is and why you may enjoy it with your family. If uh, you have some other questions, you're, you probably will have other questions. This is a big investment. I don't expect you to just make it on a snap judgment and shoot from the hip. All I ask is you give us the opportunity to earn your business through the effort that we're putting out here. If we're willing to go to this extent before you pick up the phone at Halet RV, imagine what else you do. Plus, we only do everything at Halet's. Hitching, pieces, parts, financing, trades, accessories, and everything in between. We do everything at Halet RV to make this a fun, easy experience for you. Um, why am I looking at cabinets? Why do you care? Well, because they're bigger. And it, remember how I said J flights are taller inside without being taller outside. They have three extra inches of interior height here. They're 81 inches tall instead of 78, so they're 6'9", basically. What that means in English, three extra inches of cabinet space, of slide-out height, of bunk room height, and uh, the thing that speaks to me the loudest is the shower. This has a taller shower that taller people can stand in comfortably. Now, we still have central air. We still have central heat. Everything that matters is here. The things that are, are, are fluffy stuff are not here. This is all thriller, no filler. This is a true King u dinette. There are different types of u dinettes in the industry now because what some manufacturers have done due to the popularity of u dinette is they've taken a traditional two bench dinette and just shoved a, a small square bench in the back. The problem is it, you can barely sit three people at them. This is still a comfortable four person seat. This folds down into about a seven foot bed. This has full storage under it. This is awesome. This is the one you want. Now look at these little details. As compared to last year, let's look at the little things that have changed. I talked about the awning, the Goodyear tires, the plywood roof construction. Last year they did have OSB decking. They have fully trimmed out these windows. I think it, it just looks really stunning. They've also updated their um, their shades. They've got these very nice uh, light dark contrast shades. And that's another thing. They went a little darker with the wood tones and they went a little lighter with the cabinet to, or with the uh, wall paneling. So it, it doesn't appear too dark in here and the light dark contrast makes it look and feel much bigger. This is very much on the edge of that residential uh, rage right now. So, storage below the refrigerator. Most brands don't give you that. We have a six foot nine inch tall, big pantry over here. So, I mean, you, you can sleep, I don't know, six, eight, ten people in here. You gotta be able to feed them too. Um, if that's not enough space, you can always utilize part of this over here. Uh, this could be a linen cabinet, it could be some of the kids' clothing, uh, it could be overflow pantry space, whatever you need. Some people, <coughs> pardon me, say, why is the rear bunkhouse slide-out button for this J-Flight all the way back here? Why, why isn't it up by the command center with everything else? And the answer is, if I'm standing, let me back up. If I'm standing all the way back here to reach a slide button, how can I visibly look at that slide-out to make sure it's unobstructed and not crushing anything? And the answer is I can't. So, Jayco puts the slide button right here so that I can push this slide button and I can stand right here to make sure the kids didn't leave anything on the floor. It's gonna get stuck inside that slide mechanism and stop you from leaving or stop you from starting your camping adventure. It's, it's, a, it's a visual safety sort of thing, basically, guys. And this rear bunkhouse is amazing. It only does everything. First of all, we've got struts uh, to keep this 300 pound rated bed up here. Something I've noticed a lot at Halet RV, all the different brands we carry. <clears throat> Everyone seems to have different bunk ratings. That being said, Jayco always has the highest, or someone has tied Jayco for their highest uh, bunk rating. Jayco's are, they're just, I can find you a lighter weight trailer, guys, but it's because there's a little less construction to it here, there, and everywhere. It makes a difference. So this can fold down, creates a bunk space when you need it. Now look at this. They spend more money on beds in Jayco than anybody else, even the bunks. These bunks are literally twice as thick as industry standard. You lift them up and what do you see? You don't see particle board, you see plywood. This is made with uh, better quality, longer lasting material. I didn't say cheaper material. 
You know, there is an offset to everything. If you're looking for a lesser expensive RV, there's probably other things out there. I know there's other things out there. I don't pedal on that product a lot. This, uh, if you start looking at what you actually get for your money, this is such a strong member of the family. <clears throat> These things can convert out to whatever you need them to be. They can be like a sofa or a lounge with little cup holders. You can fold it out into an individual bed. Uh, you can kind of just stretch out on a rainy day. Um, you can fold them both out into like a king bed or something like that. And on a rainy day, if you allow the kids to bring an entertainment center, they have recently revamped this entire thing. So that, you know, uh, this floor plan predates the existence of flat screens. This is a popular aged floor plan. And it's, it's just still so strong because it does everything. But flat screens have become popular. So they gave this a more modern, friendly entertainment center. And I love, Jayco builds their own ladders. They don't buy the little spindle dowel rod ladder that everybody else puts in their campers. We've got little shelf storage back here, and we've got cabinet storage here. And look at this little update, a shoe garage down there. So the kids' shoes have a place to stay. Isn't that nice? 50% um, bigger big kid bunk on this side. This is above the outside kitchen, so they made the bunk wider. Really good for big kids who sleep, you know, maybe crossways or something. Common question people ask, what size sheets do you get for this? My answer is sleeping bags, because you can easily pull them out, clean them, whatever. Sleeping bags are the answer, my friends. That's that, I believe in that wholeheartedly. Um, dinette can fold down into a sleeper. Sofa can jackknife down into a little bifold sleeper. There is storage below and above the sofa, you notice. No such thing as too much storage. Speaking of that, let's look at the kitchen here. I talked about a little storage under the refrigerator most people don't give you. Again, selling a lot of different brands at Halitz. Something else I've noticed. Count the drawers. One, two, three, four. Four drawers. And a place for a wastebasket. Why am I talking about this? Because this is things most brands don't give you. More brands are now offering a place for a wastebasket, but almost no brands give you the total drawer space of a Jayco. A lot of them will either cut out that bottom drawer or the bottom two. And they say, look, we have kitchen drawers. And the answer is yes, you do. And two is probably sufficient. But wouldn't you rather have three? And wouldn't you rather have four? That's the Jayco advantage. And understanding the differences from brand A, B to C, that's the Halet advantage. That's why you want to call us, guys. If you're not sure what you're looking for exactly, paint us a picture. Give us a call and say, I've got a family of this many people with this vehicle. Here's how we think we're going to use our camper. We'll help you find your second camper first. That's our job. That's what we do. Big shoe garage by the entry door because, again, you don't want the kid's shoes piled all over the place. Chances are, if you've got a bunkhouse without a shoe garage, you've got a big, ugly pile of shoes by the door. Maybe twice in my career, <laughs> of all the years I've been doing this now, um, I, I've had someone say, oh, well, we keep all of our shoes outside. And that's great until it rains. They still got to come inside at some point. This makes it easy. Now, in the SLX series, this is the simplified series, everything that matters, nothing that doesn't, you'll have a very basic equipment um, complement when it comes to entertainment. You've got your little stereo here, inside-outside speakers. Um, the uh, But other than that, it, it is it does have uh, like actually even a satellite jumper if you choose to add a satellite system if you choose to add a big TV or a DVD player there is the ability to do all that just like there's the ability to add a bedroom TV on this wall up here but this is the simple everything that matters series this is camping not RVing does that make sense it's a the difference between the SLX and the J flight is just trim packages like the the Chevy Malibu LS it gets the job done but the LT has power windows doors locks. This is the LS. Does that make sense? It's not lesser quality construction. It's literally the exact same construction as Big Brother J Flight. It's just simpler, you know? So you're not you're not paying for stuff maybe you don't need, want, use, etc. Um, up here in the bedroom, here's things I noticed. Lights, guys, lights are very expensive. They've got four LED lights up here in this bedroom alone. That's more than a lot of fifth wheels even. So they've spent good money on lighting through the whole coach. Soft goods. They're using, they, they, they standardized all their soft goods, and I don't, I mean, looking at this in the video, it probably doesn't mean anything to you, but when you touch this, you can feel this is decent. This is nice quality. They spent decent money on this because it's something you can use. They could have just thrown a brown sheet on the bed, and you'd have bought it and never thought twice, and then you'd have replaced it. No, you don't. Bedding. I said how the bunks are better. They use Simmons mattresses, even for the master beds of their simple series campers. 
Nobody else is doing that. Nobody else is doing that. No one spends the kind of money on betting Jayco does. You spend a third of your life sleeping, statistically. Enjoy it. Large side stands with power outlets to power phone chargers and CPAPs and everything. We still have his and hers side closets. Little detail stuff, too, on the Jaycos I noticed here at Halet RV are different. Um, the fact that your air vents can be open, closed, and directional. You can't do that with a lot of brands. Some brands, you're, if you're lucky, they'll let you close them. Very few brands allow you to turn them. Jaycos do both. That's a couple extra cents per air vent. And you think, so what? Big deal. Well, considering this is the number one selling series of travel trailers, and they make like 12,000 of these a year, multiply a couple cents times the however many air vents in here, times 12,000 units a year. That's a ton of extra money Jayco spends on just your AC system. What else are they doing, guys? That's my point. That's my point. That's why these guys are, and have been, and will continue to be, for the discernible future, the number one selling travel trailer, period, on the market, bar none. Undefeated heavyweight champion. And here you've got them available at the largest independent RV dealer in the state of Michigan, which is one of the largest states for RV sales. We are a nationwide uh, dealer, guys. I don't care where you live. <laughs> These things are on wheels. They're kind of made to go places. We can get them there. We can make it happen. And understand, my dealership does not pay the 3200 bucks of shipping like some places do that aren't near the manufacturing hub of the RV business. Aftermarket shipping is cheaper than factory shipping, guys. Give us a chance. We'll put this right in your driveway. All we need is the opportunity. And that's fair. If you found this video useful, a phone call or a click through to our website, that's fair. And that's all I ask is just an opportunity to work with you. And if you don't buy from us, man, that's my fault, not yours. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.